we're going to turn this realistic photo into an oil painting effect using Adobe Photoshop. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Design Hackers. Today in the tutorial, we're going to change this realistic photo into an oil painting using Adobe Photoshop. I've downloaded this photo from Unsplash and you will be able to access it from the comments and description in this video tutorial. So make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel just to get more updates about more awesome tutorials just like this one. To get started, we're going to make a duplicate of this layer. So in the layers pane, I'm just going to right click and choose duplicate layer. What this does, it creates a duplicate of the layer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into image adjustments and we're going to select shadows and highlights. Over here in shadow and highlights, I'm going to push the amount to 35% and the highlights to zero. So we don't want to affect the highlights. We just want to change the shadows and I'm going to click OK. Now, each step that you go through in this tutorial, I suggest that you double check what it changed and maybe you want to change it a bit differently for your exact photo. So just you can turn that layer on and off and see what it does. As you can see, in this case, what it did, it, it, did, it just made it a lot brighter and we can see a little bit more of the details. We're going to duplicate this again, so right click and select up here, duplicate layer and click OK. Great, so the layer is duplicated. And now what we're going to do is we're going to jump into filter and select other high pass. Now you can see the high pass, what it does, it creates the image into sort of, uh, it's not exactly black and white, but it's more kind of gray and it's going over all the outlines, which is exactly what we want. I'm going to soften this a little bit. So I'm going to change the radius to two, just so you can see. So it just made the outlines a little bit softer and you can play around with this as well. And the reason I'm using two is just because I think that looks good. So I'm gonna click okay. And the next thing we're going to do is pretty awesome. I'm going to change the blending mode over here into overlay. So let's jump into overlay. And again, I'm going to turn this on and off just so you can see what that has done. So it's sort of made all the details pop out over here. So it sort of sharpened it, but in a way that looks more like a painting. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to hold on my shift key and merge this with the layer beneath. So right click and select merge layers. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to unsharpen mask. This is under the filter menu in, under sharpen. And over here we have unsharp mask over here in the unsharp mask. And uh, what I suggest is that you choose amount 100% and in the radius. Again, we're going to select two like we did earlier in the high pass and I'm going to click OK. Great, that looks awesome. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into filter, stylize, and I'm going to select diffuse. Now, this diffuse that we're going to do, it's important that instead of normal, you're going to select anisotropic and click OK. We've done it once, but we're going to do it again a couple of times each time after we rotate the image by 90 degrees. So image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise, and again, a filter. And now since this is the last filter that we applied, we can jump to the diffuse in a sort of shortcut. So again, image rotation, 90% clockwise, filter, diffuse. Again, image, image rotation, 90% clockwise, filter, diffuse. And I'm going to do it again, image, image rotation, 90% clockwise, filter, diffuse. 
and now you can see that the image is really 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 starting to look like a painting the next part is we're going to reduce some noise in this uh, image so we can do that by jumping into filter noise and reduce noise over here you can play around with the strength and uh, I mean I'm not sure that uh, eight i think eight is going to be okay let's try 10 and see how is that that's a bit too much let's go for six and i'm going to hit on the okay button great so now our model really really looks like it's starting to look like a painting again i'm going to do the same thing with the filter and sharp so filter sharpen unsharpen mask i'm just going to leave that at two and hit okay the next thing we're going to do is the high pass again. We're going to duplicate the layer, right click and duplicate layer. Okay. And we're going to change this into a high pass. So filter, other, high pass. And now we can see the outlines again. And again, we're going to change this to an overlay layer. Let's turn that off and on just so you can see the changes between them. And for the last step, the last step is actually optional. So as you can see, it already looks like an awesome oil painting, but the last step is optional. The last step is adding a new layer by clicking over here in the layers pane. And I'm going to paint over this new layer with a pink color. So let's just jump to the pink over here and let's select a big brush we do want it to be to almost cover want it to almost cover my whole painting let's make it a bit smaller great and as you can see it's almost covering my painting just gonna hit it once and we added a pink overlay over here and i'm going to change the color to red and you can try this with all sorts of colors this is just what i tried when i practiced and uh, i thought it looks best so you can see i sort of made a gradient opacity over my model and i'm going to change this layer to overlay so that just sort of clips to the model we can push down the opacity just so it won't be so harsh and let's turn that on and off just so you can see how this affects our oil painting effect. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you did please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.